Unbelievable it may sound, the great ancestors of Rongmai might have watched the Out of Eden walk from the Great Rift Valley about 60,000 years ago, and resided between the two rivers of Huang Ho and Yangtze. Huang Ho or the Yellow River is one of the rivers, that were essential for the ancestors of Rongmai's very existence. The Yellow River Basin has an east-west extent of about 1,900 km and a north-south extent of about 1,100 km. The Yangtze River which is 6,380 km long, is the longest river in Asia and the third longest in the world. Human activity has been verified in the Three Gorges area, as far back as 27,000 years ago. During this period, fire-making and tool-making skills as well as sophisticated communication were flourishing. The discovery of agriculture swept aside their traditional hunter-gatherer lifestyles in favor of permanent settlements and a reliable food supply. The transition from hunter-gatherer to agricultural societies indicates an antecedent period of intensification and increasing sedentism. An abundance of readily storable wild grains, and pulses enabled hunter-gatherers in some areas, to form the first settled villages at this time. Eventually, grouping of people united by actual or perceived kinship and descent arose. Here the ancestors of Rongmai were not known as Rongmai. The term Rongmai only came to be used after they migrated from Mekwilongdi, which was once believed to be the cradle of the Rongmai, but were known as Heimai, Heomai, or simply Hoi. We do not know why they left their first settlement. The possible cause for mass migration could be due to flood or war. The ancestors of Rongmai sojourned from one place to another looking for a better place to dwell. They also once dwelt nearby the ocean. The folktales and the seashells used in their necklace, and other ornaments speak to us about the trail of migration and their connection to sea and ocean. One remarkable thing happened in their adventurous journey is that they became cave dwellers too. Their past experience of flood and war could possibly be the reason why they later dwelt in mountain caves. A Rongmai legend of Ram Vinkubin speaks of such cave. At later stage, the ancestors of Rongmai sojourned to a place, which came to be known as Makehill Village, a historical landmark that is presently located in Sene Pedi district of Manipur. India. It is said that they lived at Meho for a very long time until the Great Dispersion. The possible cause of the Great Dispersion could be due to overpopulation and lack of resources or disunity among the people. What we know is there was Great Dispersion among the people to different directions. Therefore, ancestors of Rongmai left Meho, and reached a place called Ramdrinkaban. The word Ramdrinkubin literally means sky midway. It is said that Ramdrinkubin is a cave or space, from where the stars can be seen even in the daylight. This cave was a safe place for the people from the enemies but the climate was not suitable for them. Therefore, they moved out of Ramdrinkubin looking for better land, to dwell and finally reached Mekwilongdi. In course of time, Mekwilongdi became a thriving village of about 8,000 households. It is said Mekwilongdi was a beautiful village known far and wide full of the bounties of vine and veil, the like of which we will not find in the world today. It was a peaceful and prosperous village. But the years of peace and plenty were not to last and slowly the days turned sour. The settlement in Mekwilongdi was not lasting and it could be due to many factors. It is told that the land became so overpopulated. Secondly, as the village is very vast it took days for the villagers to return from their agriculture fields. 
There are folk tales mentioning of famine in Maquilongdi and people might have moved out of the village in search of new lands. These elements are quite related to one another as the main factors for the dispersion from Maquilongdi. However, skeptics have this to say, as the saying goes, populations rise, societies divide, wars spread. And all the while, the neglected people, slowly fayeds. The people who stayed behind at Maquilong they came to be known as the Liang Mai Northern People. Another group went to the valley and became the Zmai. Another group went to the southeastern parts, and came to be known as the Puan Mai. And another group proceeded southward and they became to be known as the Rong Mai, which literally means people of the south. The Rong Mai are neither Mongols nor Chinese, even though they may have a common ancestor or lineage. The Rong Mai are what they are today. But one thing is clear, they are all Homo sapiens. The Human Genome Project demonstrated this resoundingly. It's accepted scientific knowledge that all living people in the world are Homo sapiens unless you want to know about that tiny fraction of a doubt that remains for some secret society of Neanderthals or aliens. If we are united by our past, if we are united by our present, then we are united by our future. The Rongmai does not have any written history apart from their folklores, folk tales and folk songs. Therefore, it will be petty to do further research because no one can really prove scientifically on the trail of migration of the Rongmai. But there's one thing we know for sure, the Rongmai ancestors like any other people migrated at some point in history and came to the present land, and made it their homeland. We are all Africans. The human DNA cannot lie and the Human Genome Project has scientifically proven it.